Hey, what's up, YouTube world? Barnon 11970 and as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. I'm going to make this one really quick because I've gotten a lot of people that have asked me this question, so I thought I'd make a quick video on it and give my opinion on it. Now, this is nothing more than my opinion. doesn't guarantee I'm right. doesn't guarantee I'm wrong. You could believe what I say. You could not believe in what I say. That's up to you. People ask for my opinion. I'm going to give it. So, according to my, me, what is a better thing to invest? to be able to, I can't say invest, but this, we'll say stack, physical gold or physical silver. Of the two, the because so many people ask me why is it that I talk mainly about silver. The reason I talk about silver is because I think between the two metals, silver has the best potential of rising. There are more uses of silver than there is gold. Gold is something you definitely want. But the other reason I talk about silver a lot is the fact that it's a lot cheaper for people to buy. People can afford one ounce of silver. Not many people these days can afford one ounce of gold. So I'm not going to sit here and say, don't pick one or the other. Both are great to have. But financially, unless you make a lot of money, the average person is not going to be able to have 10, 20, 100 ounces of gold. So I talk more about silver for that reason. But... If I had the choice of the two, where I can only pick one or the other, I would pick physical silver, and I'm going to explain why. And again, that doesn't mean gold is bad. You can't go wrong with either one, because gold is a storage of wealth, and it has been money, and it still is money. If you don't think gold is money, then look at places like China and Iran that are doing oil deals in gold. So if you're getting oil and you're not using the U.S. dollar, and you're using gold to pay for the oil, da 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 it is money. So I don't want to hear people saying gold isn't money anymore. The only reason it's not used as money anymore is because of the corrupt people in the government and the Fed banking system are trying to pretend that it never was by making you forget thousands of years of history. Okay, so let's just get that out there. The major concern for me on gold, as far as picking between the two, is the fact of potential confiscation. Now, that doesn't guarantee that's going to happen. But if it does, they are not going to confiscate silver. If there was a confiscation, they're going to go after gold. So what I would recommend, if you can afford it, have a couple of ounces of gold, but do the majority in silver, because, like I said, if there's a confiscation, like they have done before. Now, back in 1933, they had a gold confiscation. They did not have a silver confiscate, confiscation. Silver jewelry, silverware, silver components, silver in your clothing, silver in your, um, your water purification, silver in your solar panels. They can't get this stuff. So, the fact that silver is cheaper has the better chance of rising, and it will not be confiscated if there is a confiscation, says to me that the majority of my investment is in silver. That doesn't mean, again, and I'm going to say this to make people understand, I'm not a gold hater, but it is more expensive, and there is that risk if the government can do a confiscation. And again, I'm not saying they are, but if they do, they are going to go after gold. And that's why of all the precious metals, silver has the best opportunity for you. And especially because it's reasonable, and as they're dropping the price now, it makes it even more affordable to get the physical silver. It's time to get out of the paper game, everybody. Even when it comes to stocks and things like that, it's time for us to say, if I want to own something, I want to hold it in my hand. I don't want to be trusting a corrupt system to do the right thing and hope this time they will. Because remember, guys, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Now, if people that have been following my channel since the Barn on 11.967 days, when I first started out, I didn't know as much as I know now. And that's why I was saying things, you know, buying at any time is a good thing. Well, in the long term, that will be proven correct, but it's always better to buy when it's lower. So I learned, and I progress, and I change, and that's why I don't get emotionally attached. I'm not sitting here every day looking at my silver and hugging it and kissing it. I'm not looking at the little gold I have and saying, I want to marry it. 
it's it's a protection for me. If it no longer has that protection, it holds no value to me, and I will get rid of it. So many people out there have an emotional attachment to something, and that's how they can take advantage of you. So be careful about that. So hopefully this helps you guys. If it doesn't, well, then, you know, I can't help you anyway. So for the three or four people or the 10 or 20 people that this helps, well, you know what? I'm glad that you came here and asked for my advice. I humbly respect anybody's opinion as long as it can be respectful. And uh, let's all learn to work together. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. And that's why this is probably one of the few places that you can go on YouTube, commercial and advertisement free. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep stacking. And whatever you stack, make a lot. And to the Bitcoin community out there, for those of you who send hate mail after hate mail and nasty comment after nasty comment, here's something I'm going to say to you guys. All of you out there, I hope I'm wrong. I hope you make tons of money, and I hope you have a large, happy, successful life. I wish no ill will towards you. If you want to send hate my way, look in the mirror and see what kind of person you are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace.